Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to register a new user in Django. In the previous video, we have added login and logout functionality in Django app. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a sign up page so that users can register for a new account. So for login functionality, we have added only a template as auth app of Django provided us with built in URL and views. But to create a sign up page, we need to make our own view and URL. So let's do that in this tutorial. First step is we need to create an app. Let's name our app as users. First, activate our virtual environment VNV. This login project is the one which we have already developed in the previous tutorial. So move to this login project. Now I'm just going to create an app. Python manage.py start app and the app name is users. Okay, you can see this users. It contains certain files. Now we have to add this new app to the installed apps setting in settings file of login project. Login project settings file. In this installed apps add the app name users. Then we have to add a project level URL for the users app. Go to urls.py file. Here we have these three paths. Now I am adding one more path for adding a new user. Users slash include users.urls. This will tell Django to search for URL patterns in the file urls.py. Now we need to create a view for our app. Go to users views.py file. Let's create our view here. There are two types of views function based views and class based view. In this we are going to use class based view. Import user creation form reverse lazy and create view class. Now let's create a class called sign up view which is inherited from the class create view. This create view class has many attributes. We are going to make use of three attributes. The first one is the form underscore class give user creation form. So here we have specified the built in user creation form which is used to create a new user. User object consists of five primary attributes that is username, password, email, first name and last name of the user. Then the second attribute is success underscore URL. This is the URL to redirect to when the form is successfully processed. So when the sign up form is successfully processed, we have to redirect it to some other page. So here we are using reverse lazy method to redirect the user to the login page on successful registration. We should know what is this reverse lazy. It is actually the lazy implementation of reverse function. That function takes an input of a URL name and gives the actual URL. So that is the reverse of having a URL first and then giving it a name. Okay. Why we are using reverse lazy instead of reverse here. Reverse function will be used in function based views and reverse lazy will be used in class based views because the URLs are not loaded when the file is imported. So we are using this uh, lazy form of reverse to load them later when they are available. Okay. And the last one is the template name. We have to specify the full name of the template to use. If you are not defining the template name, it will raise improperly configured exception. So let me give the path of the template name registration slash sign up dot html. We have not yet created this template we will be creating the template shortly. Okay, fine. Next, we have to create a new URLs file in the users app. Let's create a new URL file. URLs file. From django.urls import path. And from the views import sign up view which we have created now. Now, let's include URL patterns. So to give the path sign up slash and 
for a class based view you can make use of as underscore view method sign up view dot as underscore view method this method will return a function that can be called when a request arise for a url matching the associated pattern so then finally you can specify name sign up that's it next we have to create a new template for sign up the path given is registration sign up dot html we go to the templates we have this registration and the registration we have to create sign up html file it is similar to login.html. Let me just copy the content of login.html and make the changes. So in signup.html, change the button name as sign up and also block title as sign up and title as sign up. Okay, fine, that's it. We can add the URL for sign up in our home file also in home.html the user is not logged in you can give two options to the user either you can log in if the user is already signed in or else one more option called a new user if the person presses this register here he or she will be redirected to the sign up page that's it now let's start our local server we got an error model not found error in url start py file okay django okay okay we have added this option new user register here no one is logged in now you can register here so when you click register here the path is in users slash sign up we have to enter the username and you type the password twice and there are certain conditions to type the password you create a new user and the password everyone sign up so after successful sign up it has been redirected to this login page so you have to log in with that details Now the user is logged in and we have got the message that hi username and we have one option called as logout. Once we log out, again we have two options login and register there. This is a simple way of creating a sign up page. Now you can also include first name, last name and email in the sign up form. To do that you can make some simple changes in views.py file. We can remove this user creation form now and let me add from dot forms that is i'm going to create a forms python file in this users app okay import sign up form we're going to create the form now instead of user creation form let me give sign up form let's create this forms.py file and that's users users we create a new python file called forms.py so i have imported forms user from models and imported user creation form now i'm going to create a subclass for this user creation form the subclass is sign up form so i'm adding three attributes here you can customize the first name last name and the email okay for first name specifying the maximum length and whether it is required or optional so required is equal to false help text you can just give it is optional and for email maximum length 254 and help test is enter a valid email address within this sign up form you can also add an optional class called as meta it's basically used to change the behavior of your model fields it's like changing the order specify the model here equal to the user and you can also specify the fields that is the order in which these fields should be displayed first username first underscore name then last name email id password on and password 2 represents a password confirmation that's it so let's run the server again again we are giving register here now we have this first name last name and email address also we create a new user first name the last name we give a dummy email id Give the password and confirm the password. Sign up. 
it has been redirected to the login page the admin django site admin so you can see the users here and this is the user which we have created already before creating the meta class and before customizing the signup form after customizing the signup form we have added the email address first name and last name everything has been updated for this particular username okay that's it about creating a signup page in django thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe